<laughs> we never waste the word whoa, okay? Just, just leave him around. No. So, hi guys, uh, another little video here. It's, uh, it's ever such a good video. It's a big horse um, that has lost, um, you know, respect for personal space. When he gets upset, he won't box um, very well at all. It can take an awful long time and be dangerous in the process. So, uh, this little video here there, the weather was uh, quite appalling during this video, but we put the Equidry on Got the Equidry on and I, I carried on and I was, a, I don't know how far we was, it was probably 300 miles from home, something like that, it was a long, long way away. Uh, so I was limited for time again, which I usually am. And we didn't um, have our super duper mics then. Uh, no, we've got new mics now, which are brilliant, but I think the, the, the sound isn't too bad on this one. Uh, so back to this video guys, though, it's really important with big, heavy horses, well, any horse, but this particular horse is a young, I think he's a, uh what was he tanya was shire, he yeah. a, um i think he was a some kind of shire cross i think the back, uh, off the top of my head but what beautiful colors he is beautiful young horse but it's so important that these big heavy horses uh he's gonna fly tanya no he's uh, he'll fly on me uh now max is tanya's bird we've had max for 40 years is that right? Uh, For, coming up, yeah. 40, 40 years. years. And the, the, all the research suggests that a bird becomes sort of more of a one-person um, bird. And it's Tanya. It's not me. So he can be very unkind to me. Uh, he's bit through my ear completely. He whisper to a few horses. Yeah, no good with Max at all. Parrot, I get him? Uh, no, he's okay there. All right. Yeah, okay. he's all right there. Yeah, I'll, I'll shout you if I need you. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he's... Uh, He's 40, over 40 years of age, and he has, in the past, he's bit right through my earlobe once and took chunks out of me terrible. So I have to be a bit careful. But sometimes if I bring him a little, uh, a milky, bar little milky bar button or a little chocolate, he can be uh, a little bit kind, but he gets me into false sense of security and he puts his head down and uh, to go to scratch him and then he'll have me. So I'm getting wise to him. It's took me a long time, mind. So yeah, this this video, this uh, beautiful horse, it it can it can knock knock you flying basically. There's not a lot of respect, and when he gets upset around the trailer, you're gone. Uh, so you'll see me do some um, important ground work, and then see if I can make my idea his idea for going on the trailer. Because you'll never make this horse do one thing. You can think you're doing it, but deep down, it, it, it nothing will be fixed or on the way to being fixed without us making it his idea to go in the trailer. So I hope you enjoy this. There's a few times a butt in uh, and a couple of slow motions to try and help you through exactly what, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So we'll, we'll crack on now. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. If you ever say whoa, ever use that word. <laughs> but if you ever use whoa, He's gonna be telling her you, all day, you, you've got to back a horse up with the he word whoa on the ground or in the saddle. So woe is a stop. We never waste the word woe, okay? Just, just leave him around. Now okay. straight away, if you look here, this horse moves his owner. You ever look at his owner's feet? She goes back with her feet. He, as he goes forward, he knows that he's moving her. And that does not get forgotten quickly with a horse. And when they get frightened, they can't trust people who they can move because you haven't proved to them that you are, you know, the alpha and you're kind of running things as such, which is what they really, really, really hunt for. So if we say easy, easy, we can stop and go forward or we can come down from a trot to a walk and go forward. But whenever we use woe, uh -huh. It is mean stop and always on the ground or in the saddle, back or stop and turn more than 90 degrees. It's made the biggest difference over the last 20 years for me. Whoa, I never waste the word. And someone rode past me the other day. Oh, yeah, Steve. I says, oh, yeah, how are you doing? 
and she's going, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, oh, I'll carry on, Steve. But, so she, weighs, she wasted 10 woes. Yeah, and it, and, it means and nothing then. means nothing. So that's what I always do. If you ever use it, whoa. yeah, and then look down at the, the feet. And then, so if you ever use it, if you, you don't have to do it today because you've, yeah. you've got a lot going on in your head with this. Yeah. But try and remember, never waste woe. Yeah. Now, pretty much all of my horses, I can, on a loose rein, if I say that word and sit down in that saddle, they stop. Because they know it means stop, back up, or turn more 90 degrees. Yeah. Uh, does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah. So, so e easy, lad. That's fine. Still go forward, but not the woe. That's if you want woe to mean woe. Yeah. He's backed up, but by him moving his feet backwards, he can't go away. The only reason why this will go away, when I go from neutral, because my arm's out, means nothing. When I offer with this arm to go to go forward, that's when this disappears. You understand? So now, he's good with that. Now my, I've gone. So, because so he went forward, he got rid of that flap. Okay. It went. Stop. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he stepped back. Lovely. <laughs> He's worth a grand ball already. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but this anywhere. is common sense stuff. It's so old, it's new again. And we're in a new age now, aren't we? The world's changed, doesn't it? Some of it not for the best, some of it for the best. But you can't beat up on these horses anymore. It's gone. It's, and, the, and the mobile phones are everywhere. Everyone's filming stuff now. You can wave it and he doesn't get too upset. Um, well, I worked out early on when I used to go to America, all the best horsemen I come across with the best horses, with the quietest tails, they didn't switch studs, didn't just pin their ears, they worked together. They all had this funny little wow. So there's something in it and, uh, and I've learned how to use it now. So I'm, I'm... Now it's really important here that Everyone takes their time with these flags. I have to shortcut it. I'm there for just a few hours. So I have to do a lot with a flag very quickly. Um, you know, and I've done so much of it. I know when it's over terrorizing a horse that I sometimes have to quit with the flag. So what I'm saying is I'm limited for time. It's just the way I, it has to be when I travel around. You should take a long time to get your horse used to a flag so that it will have a meaning. If, if, if a horse is sensitized to a flag, it'll be frightened to death and it will not connect the dots to moving the horse's feet. Moving it, you know. So you have to desensitize to a flag and then use the flag for moving a horse's feet so it has information. So really take your time with the flag. Don't rush things like I do. What's it there? Because he wants me in the other eye. Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. He manoeuvred then. Yeah. Said, I, want, I feel more comfortable with you in the other. And there you go. There you go. You can see he gets a little bit concerned. Obviously, he's been introduced to the flag. So this is when it shows up. It shows the truth up, really. So I'm trying to go over to his right. And he's manoeuvring over, trying to say, no, don't. I'd prefer you with the flag, that new thing, the flag, I'd prefer that in my left eye. But I like there where he moves his shoulders away from me, so the space is already starting to take effect. I'm starting to get that little bubble there. So I was really pleased about that, that he gave me my bubble, even though he's getting a bit concerned about me going on to the right-hand side. I'm going to see now, because I don't want to use the flag every time, will he go at just an offer? Because it should be that light. Okay, so... So we went, didn't we? So that was nothing. So it's the good deal or the bad deal. Do you want to just, how about just be good and just go forward for me? Uh, I haven't got a death grip. Now, back up. Go forward. And this is the start. I was working a yearling yesterday, working with a yearling. A difficult yearling, really. It, it's a. Uh, she couldn't get it to move around or lunge or anything. And this exact method, we had that horse going around beautifully around me. It even trotted around a bit, but you don't really want to do that with a yearling. But um, just using the flag, she tried, and trainers there tried lunge whips and all sorts. Nothing worked. Just responding to the flag work. Right, so the other right might be different. 
So now I'm going from neutral, a cut, then you go, then you go forward, yeah, you've got the power to get rid of that as well, that side. And this is how to start lunging. Now he, he's used to you leading him on this side because he keeps putting me in that eye. Mm -hmm. you, that's evident already. So try and do a, a lot of nice stuff the other side for him. It'll help you riding as well. So, so now, will he go? Yes, he went. Can you go? Can you go? Yes, you can. Now what I'm doing now, I'm leading him. There's leading. Now I'm going to come around here. And now we'll go back to leading. I want this leading to drive in good. There's leading. Driving. Leading. Driving. They, they don't let the slack go out. It's leading to driving. He's got a nice jog. He'd be comfortable. His back's not up and down very much, is it? Did you see that? Quite comfortable, I think. Right, leading, driving. Just engage your hind quarters. Up, back up, lovely job, this way, very responsive, mm -hmm. do you think? Yeah. So driving, leading, driving, <laughs> leading, driving, and Leading to driving is exactly what a wild, you know, in, in their own environment. The stallion will push them, or they have to follow, or the lead mare, whichever one. Stop. Tell him how good he is. So I think we're getting somewhere with this fella, aren't we? Yeah, that's good. So what we're going to do now is give him a break for five minutes to absorb things um, and then we're going to see what takes. So he needed a break. I just felt like it was a lot being asked of him, new, new things. Really nice. It's called Advanced Retreat. Let them settle. Let their hearts beat get, you know, recover. So we gave him a break, but the heavens open, guys. Oh my God, the rain. So we thought, oh, we'll leave it a little bit. It'll pass over, it'll pass over, it'll pass over. And it didn't, and we left it quite a long time. Um, so we just had to get on. And you'll notice when we get on now that it, it, it's teeming down. But, you know, I'm a long way from home, you know, and get over a bit, getting a bit wet. So, um, yeah. Now, Tanya started the filming the first time I went to the trailer. You'll see that now. That's exactly, there's nothing before everything's there um so this is the first time i ask him uh, to consider the ramp without too much of a problem hopefully Now, for a horse that side, I was really glad that he didn't blast through me because that was what could easily happen with these big horses. They just they just run through you and then you've got big problems. But immediately then, as I blocked him, he listened. He didn't run through me. That was a real good um, outcome of that. Um, although he did move my feet slightly, he moved back right off. So that was a good start for a little break down there. He respected my space there. Ooh. Right, he tests again. Same thing, again, I was chuffed. That's called blocking there, guys. I block him and I do move. That's the sheer, the sheer bulk of him 
Well, I move, but uh, but he and then he backs off lovely again. So twice, and now he's he should be a little bit convinced that that's now not an option to to go through me. Now I knew he was going to go in there, guys. Well, I've, I've got to, I've got to think that uh, for this to work, you know, uh, thoughts of things. So I knew that. But what pleased me more than anything, and I think a lot of you will will think the same, there was no, uh, there was no rushing out. We put the feed there ready. He didn't rush out. He wasn't too claustrophobic in there. With the horse that size, that's the worry. And I was so pleased. More pleased with the fact that he didn't want to rush out and he wasn't stamping. He was just having his, his little bit of feed there. That was a great, um, you know, first trailer in for me that he went in of his own accord. Yep. Yeah. I've just said the thing is rub on him as well. Make sure you always pull this rub. The respect of space meant he doesn't jump through me because he would have. Yeah. This way because he knows how big he is. So respect to space stops that. Feet forward is the flag. Mm -hmm. So that every time he goes forward, the flag's gone. Yeah. See? So he knew we got rid of it. Um, and trailer load in is straightness and feet forward. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make it his idea to go in. Yes. Pretty soon he's going to come around and uh, bring him out. Lovely that he comes out steady. Now, at home when you've got your arena done, mm -hmm. if you are, that was two paces towards me when I stopped. I want him keyed in. Obviously with him being a little bit dodgy with the trailer, he's a little bit different in his mind now. That's fine. Uh, okay. So now, I'm going to do something that. So I'm going to work on mentally tiring, disengage, back up. So I'm making this all a little bit, oh, a bit much for, you know, oh, I'd rather not be doing this. But it's all stuff that helps us in life. Bend, that's about bend, and bend is a bit soft in the rib cage here. There, disengage, go forward. Go for ready? Yep. Okay. Go forward. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> How's this doing? Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to explain the process. Yeah. So some of that goes in yeah. to why this is happening like it is. Yeah. Um, if I just didn't say anything and got on with it, so there you go. You wouldn't know how it yeah. evolved. It's real. It's not like I say. It's nothing whispery about any of this. It's horsemanship. Feet forward and straightness, making our idea his idea. Um, that, that's the big thing, making their idea, having the knowledge, nothing's easy, it will take you a long time to, it won't be as good as this yeah. because I've been doing it so much, but it shows you it's possible. Yeah. yeah. And did you understand that, that was mentally demanding for him what I've just done? Yeah. And can you imagine each day if he would, he would hunt this, you bring him in here, you'll point, and if he knew that in there, he'll go around and he'll go in. Yeah. But you can't let him down, you 
you're going anywhere, you put your apples and carrots in so he knows when he goes in there, there's a, there's a reason for it. He's looking forward to that. But I've seen it where you, you don't do it and they go in and they... Where is it? <laughs> you tricked me. You let me down. Okay, so I'm going to bring him out again. Now we'll see if it's his idea now. You there? You ready? Yep. Okay, I'm going to see if I don't use the flag. Okay, if you grab the rope. No flag. Whose idea was that? That was his. Both of ours. In a minute, hopefully it's the kids. Because I was kind of suggesting as well. Okay. So I'm standing at the side. I'm check directing. Brilliant. Definitely put a grand on him now. Uh, I think you'll find we finish on a note, really good note. The next time he goes in the trade, I, I believe, let me know. If you can give me a clip of it, that'd be great. Right, so walk around, you're going to have that hand, go in this way, go in this way, yeah. Walk around there and then clock him in. You're going to stay here, go on, up you go. And then keep clocking, clock. Good girl, let it go loose. Well done. Because <laughs> now he knows you've done it. That's a big deal. That's a big deal now. But he's gone in with you holding the road. And I think he needs to finish there. Yeah. Uh, because That's we're ending on a great... I don't know what you thought of that video, guys, but I think that went so well with that young horse. The young horse got over pretty much its fears. Our idea became his idea, and his owner did so well. No panicking, just everything really, really, really smooth, and we didn't get, you know too elevated about anything and I think that fed up fed into him so that was really good so yeah that's the end of this video guys if you can like uh comment and share no Max isn't there look he's come off onto here and he's just gone down here and I don't know if I can move that to see there he is Maxie oh, I'll get this back somewhere over here that oh so yeah uh just before i go guys um don't forget there's the supporters and um subscribers sites and they're more in depth with my own horses and a lot of the reality that goes on here as well so if you want to give that a check in that would be fantastic for us as well you wanted you asked if you could mention that america looks like it's confirmed Right, can you speak up? I can. Go on then. Um, well, here's the flyer, guys. It's happening. We're coming to North Carolina to do the demo. Thanks to Linda and Danny. We are so looking forward to it. A fantastic venue. Hoping to meet lots of you on here. Really looking forward to it. Okay, so um, you wanted to mention Billericay again? Uh, yeah, just mention it quickly again. 16th of March, uh, Billericay. Uh, seats the, going really that, well for that. that. That should be a wonderful demo. I'm looking forward to it. Taking Rolex, my new horse, um, who by the time, with all of this bad weather, I've not got a chance to do anything with him at the moment, but uh, I'll be about four weeks in, I think, of good riding. Um so uh, hopefully I'll be able to show some nice, nice things going on with Rolex. Taking Chevy as well. He will probably be a, a been sat on by then. Uh, so hopefully it'll be my, just a couple of rides in. That's my plan. 
and uh, then obviously we're going to have a couple of horses in the afternoon with some things going on hopefully to improve so yeah fun day that yeah, we have got a couple of other dates but we're, we're not actually booking those yet no no and we're only doing three I'm far too confused <laughs> everybody's paying and I'll no seriously we're just taking bookings for essex the light the light doesn't seem too brilliant it's because it's so we've got the lights on in here it's so that's dull outside i'd need more than light so that's it Till the next one, we'll go and batten everything down now, ready for this storm that's coming in tonight. Tanya can move Max away for me, and uh, yeah, happy trails. See you guys.